Welcome to how to allow clients to reopen Remedy Force incidents via email. Reopening incidents via email requires a few things. One, it uses a workflow uh, to apply a template. Uh, you could use a process builder, but for the purpose of this video, we'll be using a workflow. We work off the email received action. So when an email is received, the workflow will fire. And in Remedy Force Administration, allow templates on existing records must be enabled, as well as allow templates to replace form field values. In Remedy Force Administration, click on Home, Application Settings, General Application Settings. And then in the Template Settings sections, check both of these boxes. Allow applying of templates on an existing record and replace form field values with template values. Don't forget to click Save. Go to Setup, Create, Workflows and Approvals, Workflow Rules. We want to create a workflow on the Incident History object, so just click New Rule. Select the object. Next. Let's call it Reopen Incident via Email. And you can use um, created or every time it's edited or created and any time it's edited to subsequently meet the criteria depending on um, preference either one of these will work for this one we'll leave it set to created and any time it's edited to subsequently meet the criteria we want to click the rule run this rule if it meets the formula value for the first condition we want to select action tilde which is the action ID and we want that to equal email received. For the next condition, we want either the status ID to be closed or we want to fire off a state open. So if you're in, in Remedy Force when you're closing an incident, for example, there will be several statuses. And you click the status drop down so uh, they're broken down into the ones that have a state of open equals true and then state open equal false so if you'll be using closed or resolved or some other condition then you then you want to use the state open value because all of these will have state open equal false and if you use closed and somebody sets one to resolve then it won't work if you don't put a status or state condition, then any email received activity reopens the incident. So <clears throat> just put an AND condition back on the rule, and then insert field, and we're going to go to the incident object, and we'll use state open because it catches all of the statuses all of the statuses that have the state open equal false. Once that's done, click check syntax, make sure there are no mistakes, and then click save and next. We need to add a workflow action. You can create a field update or use an existing one. I already have one created, so we'll go ahead and select an existing action, and then field update. And here you see I have a field update with a template status. Let me look at that one. And so this template, what this template does, if I go back to Remedy Force Home, configure application, templates, I've created a template, reopen via email conversation or client note. And in that template, all it has is a status value which is waiting for, I have a custom status value waiting for dot dot dot. So you would put in whatever status you want, reopened, new, pending TSA, or, or whatever, whatever you need, and then save the template. So once that's done, click Save, and then click Done. So what will happen with this rule is, when an action ID equals email received, and the state of the incident is closed, the state open is closed or false, apply this template. So 
Remy Force Console, I've already sent an email to the client stating that the ticket was closed. So now we'll go in and reply to that email as the client and it will reopen the ticket. So here's the email. I've, I've played with it, so there are quite a few replies. So we just put, uh, please reopen and click send. Now this email, it's important that this email originate from the email conversation. If you just send an email out of the blue, it won't process. And what we're looking for to reference it to the ticket we're looking for the client number one to create the email received and then number two we're looking for this string this string in the email subject identifies it as coming from a client if we go back into the remedy force console you see this incident was closed if we reload the console the status has been changed to waiting for dot 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 and we go look in the detail section in the action and it was changed because the email received was uh, please reopen and so that will that reopens the ticket so this concludes how to allow clients to reopen remedy force incidents via email